Obligatory. Let's play the game. Oh, the, this game says uh, you uh, enhanced experience with controller. So Xbox 360 controller. Uh, oh, I, I guess I could. I, I, uh, I, I was going to read that, but. Um, oh, did I? Uh, my controller? Controller? Hello? Thank you. Well, I like disconnected itself or something. Oh my. Since when do controllers have rumble in them? It scared the crap out of me, man. I don't like scary games. I haven't played a scary game in probably like 20 years. Resident Evil 2, or 3, I think was the last scary game that I played. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. All right. Those moments in the game, it's like, look around, man. Take in all the sights. Uh, all the settings are on max except for shadows. Uh, I feel like shadows really never look good, so I just put it on medium. Well, some shadows look good. Depends on the game. Holy shit! I also activated that little black bar, little background for the subtitles, uh, just in case I couldn't read any of them. I kind of wish they, uh... Whoa! Whoa. That was so surreal. ...famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now... Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame it. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you Take could do a that selfie. to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st the century. Of their beauty or but innocence. I like it old school. She had a brilliant eye. I haven't so kept up with my journal as much as I should. Approach. I have to admit, my little camera bag is battered but work. still kicking. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too. Victor. I do love my analog camera. The essence of I should take a quick picture now. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty, which... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, 
Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <clears throat> Uh, I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't alt-tab in this game. Because the sound goes away. Alright, so... Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. This game, uh... Don't be stupid. Is, is what we learned for that sequence. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Uh, watch your mouth. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Is grunge dead? Featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson. Ten reasons to get electronic mail. Pop Vine. Buy your issue today. Buckle. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Neon Val? Neon Val? What's up, Kate? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Can you can you get over there? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this purge. <laughs> and this is Kate, yep. How's she doing on that homework there? Uh, says, So Lonely. That's a Tech Nine song with Blind Fury in it, by the way. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Sure, let's take a photo. It's after class, so we'll be fine. She is leaning over on that desk. A little, uh, a little too much there. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? My controller's tripping. 
So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Film versus digital. Who will win? Oh my gosh. Like, I think my controller is just broken. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Uh, the winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes Competition at the Zeitgeist or Zeitgeist Gallery. You may submit only one image on approved paper for consideration. For those, I guess that's 18 and not 13 and under, a parent permission form must be included with the image. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. That's the same lighthouse that we were at. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. I thought I saw that I could look. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Yeah, well, I ain't gonna do it. All right, I, I don't. Let me uh. Okay, that's the con. I don't know. It, it's just, it's just really you weird. Didn't tell me how moving cute around. I, yet. I, I think it's my controller. Like you you Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Harry Because Max wants everybody to see how the picture is going to She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. No, I told you. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Oh, this is going to get claimed, isn't it? <laughs> I'm expecting some lyrics any second now. Get on my face, Evan. Fuck him. Alright, it... I hate having everybody see inside my locker. To all of you. American I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Imagine Andy, you look totally fabulous as you. you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around I ain't talking to none of y'all. 
Get out of my face. It looks like she's been gone for months. What's a 19 year old doing in college? I wish October would last forever. High school. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Good thing I left my AK at home. Stop bullying now. Meanwhile, over there, the kid's getting bullied. The Bigfoot stop. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Yet I don't see. All right, I can't leave. I don't know if I can, is this technically running faster? Oh, she did say she wanted to go to the restroom, didn't she? Oh, that's Lady Depression. Okay. Here we go. Let's go, controller. You can do it. We might have to do keyboard and mouse for this. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. I apologize for the, the whiplash. Are you now? What? Who would bother to write that crap? What? Wh why? Why? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? 
I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now shadow. Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane, Can I Arvis? actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? <laughs> Diane Arvis. There you go, Victoria. I did now, it. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I'm 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 not going to I'm not going to read this. <clears throat> oh, but this is these are all the people that I I didn't talk to him. Also, I talked to one of those teachers who's not on here, so that's not what I thought it was. Oh, well, I got some text messages. I have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Blow it all at once. Thanks, Dad. Uh, you okay? Did you want green tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free at four. Talk to you later. Happy birthday, Maxine. Can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. XO. Hmm. 11.58 a.m. 9.25 a.m. So, we cool with the moms. The dad, we cool with, but, he, like, he, he drops the ball sometimes. Uh. Don't ignore this message. Okay, this guy is, uh, is crazy. Too much, man. Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of All right, so this time I'm when not going to interrupt the lecture. Asking a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry. I know. So if anybody wants to question the portrait as modern narcissism, they could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all the way until the bell rang. It's your turn to lecture us. Now, based on the chapters, I have no doubt you all memorized, who can tell me the name of the actual process that led to the birth of the self-portrait? Your hand. 
Anybody? This does not bode well. It's your hand. I was wondering how long this conversation would Just go. Just jump right in with an answer. I... I mean, I would try to answer, but... I can't. Sorry, Teach. I don't have control of my arms. This is in the chapters you read. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Be in here. Uh, much language. gosh I want to marry him oh my gosh oh dear I don't see anything in here that helps me with this question as I you know completely skimming over it All right, we'll, we'll take the selfie because it doesn't look like uh, there's anything else to go on here. We'll wait for one more line of dialogue. You did read the chapters, right? Although, I, I am curious how far this goes. Because so far he's had a unique dialogue for every single one, and I kind of just want to wait. Your silence is deafening. kind of just want to wait. I know this is awful from the viewer's perspective, but you know, this, if this, this were a photo, I'd call it a still life. This is the kind of fascinating things of, of video games is, you know, when they have these, these things where they're waiting for the player to do something, how far do they actually take it before you have to make your choice? Anybody? This does not bode well. And I think that's a duplicate, so. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, I can't even can't even have the option of giving the right answer. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Lewis class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, Things making wins. them extremely right. popular. No, you don't give the right answer. You give. Oh. Now, Max, since. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. 
The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, drop in frame. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I mean, I want to do that. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so... You see the dilemma? I, I see you, Max Caulfield. Let one of photog... Ha. <laughs> really? I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Really? Uh, th these. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't I... tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Because the mouse and keyboard controls could be so much better. What's up, dog? Alright, forget you. Because if you send. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that ever. thing down! Tell me what to do. Wowzer, well, well, it's so happening sick. again. I need a hammer to break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Nobody would ever even miss your punk... Don't ever... Remember, tell me Oops. what to do. I'm so sick are, are you gonna... of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. Put, put that gun away. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. 
The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Oops. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Heck no. We report that sucker. You ain't just gonna run around with a gun on campus? I don't think so. I mean, he killed, he killed that girl. His actions have consequences. That's, that's what this game needs to say. Homie don't play that. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. What's up, dog? Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. My gosh. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. Uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. 
He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Dropping a billion frames. Are you playing video? That doesn't, that doesn't look like video game. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Oof. Oof. Shot? Damn. Uh, can my dad be okay? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody... I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Oh my gosh. It's going too fast. Okay. Meet you in the lot. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Uh, where's the dorms? Okay, this way. Uh, move faster. Hoping to at least get like an hour before I have to stop, but frames are looking nasty. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Man. Game is brutal. What you, uh, what you reading? I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Ooh. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. All right, well, now we know why we aren't better friends. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Can you get out of my way, sucker? Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> yeah. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Okay. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. How about you just step around them? Let, let them try to do something. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Uh. 
about uh, some football. No. No. Nice. That would uh, get her. All right. Not doing anything with that. No. Right. Not talking to home trick slice. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. No. I don't know how I'm supposed to access that. Maybe nice, football bro. guys now? Nope. Yeah. I need to figure this out. Victoria, it's just water. Oh. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. But I wanted to get her with the paint. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Awesome. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Beat it up. Okay, let's see if this works. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Oh, hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. Fuck cool. How you liking that paint? Uh... Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Sucker. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. No. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Look. You hit the haters where it hurts. Alright? You don't just let them beat you down like that. You fight back. Victoria is going to be pissed. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. What'd she say? I 
I don't know what this is a picture of. It took so long. Let's just go to the room. Oh. Door open. Okay. Uh, be the change you wish to see, Gandhi. Oh, how clever. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. This girl is hopeless, just like my frames. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Uh, the cinematic content of the flash drive are graphic, life altering, blah, 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 blah. That's great, dog. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Yeah, you're wasting electricity. Come on. You weren't even in this room. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Cartier Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. You see that screensaver? You remember these screensavers from back in the day? This is some old school stuff. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Apparently watering your plant is a uh, triggers a consequence. Oh, cause she put, see, like I, I didn't even like that either. I, she put it right there on the windowsill and so it's clearly gonna fall. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window, always looking. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. 
Go Thunderbirds. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Uh, I'm good. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Yeah, this is a single room. Do you have doesn't have any roommates? Also, just people walking in and out of her her crib? It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a two hundred dollar gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Uh. Okay. Let's say keep calm and carry on. Uh, there was something. Oh, yeah. Got a text message from mom. My uh, principal sent me an email saying that you told him some tall tales about the Blackboard owner story. Is it true? The principal said this was a serious false charge. That's a period. What a comma. And capital A, get that out of there. Uh, and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP. Wow. Wow, mom. Wow. Uh, so, uh, how do I save? How, how do I save? Uh, Uh, okay, there we go. There's an auto save thing right there. All right, so uh, I've dropped 10,000 frames, 4.4%. Um, so, you know, I'll have to uh, stop playing at the nighttime, basically. Uh, once upon a time, I could stream at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific. And, you know, I, I would run into a few issues, not really too many. Uh, but not anymore. You know, so I got to stream it like... I love my space, but I do miss my friends and family in Seattle. 8.30 a.m. in the morning now, just to get a, a stream. You know, the world is in a crazy place right now. And uh, we, we must adapt. Important. Uh, so that'll wrap it up for me for today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, most likely in the morning around 8:39 a.m. ish, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna drop some hours into this game and uh, hopefully not drop any frames. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Peace.